All right. Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what we're basically looking to do is finding the first five terms. So like I did in the last example, if I want to find the first term, I'm going to replace n with 1. So now, wherever I see a 1 or an n, I'm going to replace that with a 1. So I have negative 3 raised to the first power, which is just going to be negative 3. Divided by 3 is just going to equal negative 1. Now we do a to the second, which would be negative 3 squared over 3. Well, negative 3 squared is going to be a positive 9. Positive 9 divided by 3 is just 3. So negative 3 squared is positive 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Then we have negative 9 cubed, which is negative 3 times negative 3, which times negative 3, which is negative 27, divided by 3, which is going to give us negative 9. Then we have a to the fourth, which is negative 3 raised to the fourth, divided by 3. Now negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And then we have to do that again, right? Times negative 3 times negative 3. So it's really like negative 9 times negative 9, which would be a positive 81. Divide by 3 is going to leave us with positive 27. And then the last one is a to the fourth, which would be a negative 3 to the fifth over 3. And I believe it's 243. Huh? A to the fifth, a 4. No, it's oh. 243. So it's two, negative 243 divided by 3, which will give you a <coughs> negative 81. Right? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all you guys had to do. You guys ready to take a test?